Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be going over things to know before you start 3D printing. And what I mean by that is there's certain things uh, before you receive your 3D printer uh, that you might want to keep in mind. Uh, I'm assuming by now most of you have already ordered uh, your 3D printer regardless which one it is, what brand it is and you're just sitting at home waiting for the delivery to come in and you're eager to get started but before you get started there's a few things you need to know because once you get started these are the issues that you're gonna run into um, or these are the things that you will need actually I should say so let's start <clears throat> with most 3D printers that um, come in today's industry you'll probably get a small amount of filament that comes with it, most likely PLA. That is only good for depending on what printer you have and what company you get it from. Um, I currently have the CR10. Um, so mine came with a decent size of filament and that lasted me about 15 to 16 hours worth of print I would say. Um, some of the stuff that you will need okay one of the things that I did is order extra filament you will need it I guarantee it when you first get your printer like I've said it before it's like a drug doesn't matter what you print long as you're using it to do some 3d printing so order maybe one or two spools of PLA or if you want to experiment go and order one uh, spool of PLA another one of ABS this one is actually ABS that I've ordered um, I am currently printing at the moment so that's why you're not looking at my printer um, that one is using PLA to build uh, mods for my current printer so to make things easier for me okay so you will need spools not spool but spools of PLA that is one of the first things that you will need regardless while it be ABS or PLA like I said another thing you will need uh, adhesive or adhesion as they say for your bed now I personally like to use glue sticks that is my weapon of choice some people like to use hairspray some people like to use uh, tape and hairspray. Some people like to use certain chemicals. Uh, just use whatever you feel comfortable with. I prefer glue sticks. So I picked this up at Sam's Club. I think it was like six bucks for this whole roll of 24 sticks that I got. Uh, also another thing that you will need, or what I use, tape. I use tape <coughs> to tape my bed and then I apply the glue stick on that and I have yet to have any problems with my 3d print sticking to the surface um, and they're fairly cheap these this one right here is just a four four rolls that I got again uh, from Sam's Club I think it was like nine bucks or something like that this is multi-purpose it's like the blue painters tape that everybody's talking about uh, there it is, the painter's tape. This one, it sticks pretty well. It does the job. I do like it very much. Also, you will need a spatula. Any kind of spatula uh, or painter's putty knife or whatever you want to use. Something that will take your uh, prints off after it is done. Uh, safely I prefer this one uh, I don't know I'm just used to it this came actually with my printer it came with it so I've just been using it and it's been working out pretty well for me another thing you're gonna need is some form of a cutting tool where it, whether it be a exacto knife or a blade does not matter why do you need this well two reasons one once you apply the tape to the bed, uh, you will need to smooth out the edges or cut the corners. So you can use either one of these to cut that. Also, <clears throat> when you do prints such as this, there will be support. This is a support that came with it. Now I can pull this off, uh, but I will still get 
little uh, leftovers here which I use the blade for so I'll just put that to the side so you guys can see it so this is another thing that you will need okay next some kind of tweezers or long nose pliers or something uh, along these lines why would you need these because once your nozzle is actually extracting the filament out um, when you're pushing it to change the filament or when the access filament comes out or you're just testing out your nozzle to make sure it's not clogged you do not want to stick your hand in there and pull it out trust me it is hot so you need something along these lines um, I've seen people use the ones that are bent at the end so it's easier to get in like forceps I guess you can call them uh, but this just does the job for me I like it because it's smooth on the inside right here so there's no teeth so it doesn't grab on to anything okay also what will you need you will need believe it or not spare parts now this one uh, these parts are what came with my 3d printer but one of the main things you will need guys just to let you know nozzle your nozzle will clog and you will eventually have to change it out this is where my uh, filament tube goes into and that's where the filament comes out from um, it doesn't matter if you've been printing for three months six months one year two years eventually down the line you will need these um, <clears throat> if your printer comes with it great like I said currently I own the Creality CR10 and that one actually supplied these parts for me so I got those little extra bolts and nuts here um, that come prepackaged already these were just extra so just look into your printer read the specs and see what is needed also you will need some kind of pliers with sharp teeth at the edge so you can cut your filament okay mm -hmm. now you can I can use these as well because this actually has uh, cutters at the edge, but this is way more sharp plus I got these for free <laughs> So I hold on to this. This is what I use to cut my filament with as I feed it through um, also Keep extra tools on hand now these um, Again came with my printer, but uh, sometimes you might need additional things like a screwdriver or Allen keys or if you lose it zip ties whatever it might be but having extra set of tools on hand near your printer just makes it that much easier this way you don't have to go hunt for it or do anything of that nature um, also one thing that's not <clears throat> I don't have it with me because like I said it's, it's attached to my printer is uh, make a little tray or just get a box or something that you can put all these things in because you do not want to be running around looking for these things when you're actually printing or if you run into problem and you need to do a repair on it or something along those lines so these are just some of the things that you will need also if you're trying to connect your uh, computer to the printer itself now I per personally prefer just to just put it on the micro SD card and slide that sucker in um, but if you want to connect it you will need a cable and most likely this will come with your printer okay also um, I would recommend if your printer takes a micro SD card uh, like I said currently I can't show it to you but I'll show you a picture in a little bit um, I got a micro SD card extender what that is is basically one end is a micro SD male which plugs into your printer and the other end is a female where you can actually plug the micro SD card into why would you need that um, I've read that most printers out there that take the micro SD card uh, the slot is not very reliable it's not built uh, that great so eventually some people run into a problem where uh, they put the card in and it no longer starts reading and that's because of wear and tear just pulling out your card putting it back in so this way if you have an extension there you can plug it in there and if that goes bad you can just buy another one and they're only like three to six bucks depending on where you get it from so these are some of the things um, that you will need uh, one of the most important things in my opinion that you will need if you buy a 3d printer and this is more of a safety 
precaution, a surge protector. It doesn't matter where you get it from. This is just a $3 protector I picked up at Walmart. Um, plug your printer into this and then plug this into the wall. Why do you need to do that? Well, sometimes there's surges throughout your neighborhood that you don't realize or your power goes off. And when your power comes back on, there's a massive amount of wattage that shoots through the neighborhood and it comes, let's say for your house for example, it'll shoot through your house and that's how your electronics get fried. But if you have this on, you actually have the breaker here that you can turn off and on, which will protect your printer. I'd rather this $4 piece burn out than my $400 printer. So um, <clears throat> these are just some of the things, FYI, you might want to keep in mind. One of the biggest other things that I've noticed, and uh, I am guilty of this as well, I still don't have a location for my printer. Uh, I have built it, I have got it working, I've done multiple prints on it, and it's sitting on top of my mini bar. Why? Because I have yet to find a place. Um, I don't recommend building a printer and then moving it around and disassembling it, assembling it. Once you build it, you should find a permanent location for it. So before your printer comes in, look around your house. Where would you like to put it? Where would you say it's going to be stationary and not move around? So that's something uh, you might want to look into and just see uh, where you can put your 3D printer at. Okay. Another thing um, you might want to do is keep in mind, even though you bought a 3D printer, you won't be able to print everything. Um, for example, if there's something really you want and you can't find it online, uh, you'll have to go and design it. And it doesn't always come out the way you want. So just keep that in mind. Also, another word of advice is not all prints uh, finished from beginning to end perfectly. If you're 3D printing, you will have problems. You will have failed prints. You will have stringing. You will have bubbling. You will have your prints not stick to the bed and fall off in the middle of a print. So these are things that uh, you might want to keep in mind and um, just uh, be aware, okay? So find a place Please use a surge protector. It's for your safety and your family's safety, so it prevents fires and things like that. Um, also, keep these tools on hand. This is basically what I've used so far. I haven't used anything else. Uh, besides these things, what else do you need to keep in mind? So, find things to print. Go on sites like Thingiverse or uh, what's the other one? You can go on pin shape or you can go to my mini factory just go in there find stuff that you think you might be interested in printing go ahead and download them turn them in turn them ST, uh, stl files into g codes and go from there <clears throat> so once you find stuff you want to print find information about the slicer software i currently use cura so i learned how to use cura before i even uh, got my 3d printer because this helps you can take items from such as thingiverse from here put it into cura turn it into a g-code and just save it when you get your printer and when you do your default print after that print what you want print just try to print useful stuff that you're going to use don't just print random junk that once you print you're just going to throw in the corner because i have a lot of those i have a whole box of those so just uh just think about what you would like to print and what can actually benefit you. Um, also, uh, here's the card I was uh, the micro SD card I was talking about. You can go from here. If you look, it's just a micro SD card that slides in, and this is where you stick your card. There it is, right there. And I believe this one, uh, this one's on eBay for two ninety three with the one year warranty for ninety nine cents. So you can't go wrong with it. Uh, that's that. Talked about Thingverse. Um, also, guys, just try to learn as much as you can about your printer. Go online, watch videos, um, things like how to level your bed, or you know whatever problem people have ran into. How can you fix it? Um, me currently, I own a like I said a CR10 printer. 
and uh, I've done a lot of research on it and the reason I make videos is because I mean I've only had mine for about a month and a half and I've run into many problems a lot of people show you um, what the problem is but they don't really give you solutions so in my videos I show you what the problem is I fix the problem that you have and then you know I try to try to make a video about it from my point of view and how I would like the question answered so here's my site and these are just general videos guys uh, except for the review of the CR10 on, on here I go over everything you're gonna need to get started once you get your printer um, how to put it together you know I have this video here on assembly if you have the CR10 there it is if you don't then you probably want to go to another site someone that's familiar that you feel comfortable with after you do that how to level the bed what adhesion to use which one works best um, as far as the software you're using I use Cura 2.4 here's a review on the software also um, I found out after that there's two ways of leveling your bed so I made another video on that uh, how to change filament uh, before a print in the middle of a print and um, that's very useful if uh, let's say if your spool runs down and you know you just want to change it but you don't want to stop the print so these are the little videos that I've made and if this is not the printer for you uh, there's other sites and YouTube videos out there that you can look at uh, there's a lot of help out there guys you just gotta find it uh, but like I said my videos are just ge in general uh, not very specific to my printer except for the assembly and review so if you like uh, you can come to my site I'll leave a link at the bottom um, I try to make a video every two days uh, from a point of a beginner who doesn't know anything because a month and a half ago I didn't know, even know what a filament was so from then to now uh, any help you guys might have or question or any help you might need or any questions you might have you can shoot it my way um, but that's basically it guys uh, this is the video on what to look forward to before you get your printing started make sure you have all the tools all the right accessories tape hairspray glue stick pliers cutters whatever you need uh, make a place for them to be stored like in a box or a container even uh, find a location for your printer uh, things like that so I hope this helps some people out I know most people out there are already experts and they don't really need much help but I'm making this video like I said for the new people like me who have uh, kind of an idea what they're doing but really no clue to what they're doing as well so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope to help somebody out and um, yeah, that's about it. Happy printing, guys. Enjoy. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel.